Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is the From the Middle Crochet Blanket. I love this blanket. This is using the brand new Carrot and Chunky Cakes yarn and the coloring that you see is exactly what's coming out of the ball. So you can see that the colors really kind of work out. So if you follow this line here you can prove it to you how it just changes colors on its own and it's a lot of less fuss when the colors are already changing. So without further ado I'm gonna get you started on this pattern and I'm gonna get you far enough into this so that you can see the repeat pattern because once you understand how it's repeating itself you can go as big as or as little as you need. Today you're going to need six balls of Plum Perfect. This is the Karen Chunky Cakes line with an eight millimeter size L crochet hook in order to play. Without further ado let's get started. So here's a sample of my practice sample on how to get started on this one here and you can notice is that there is an amazing look to this particular one and the color is changing on its own. So you're gonna notice that the corners will always look very similar to each other. There's gonna be a total of two different rows for this in order to keep this pattern looking consistent and as you grow it out the corners obviously move further out and there's gonna be more spaces in between. So the trick is is to get started to get this pattern established because once we get established you can just fill in the uh, this the information as you need it because the reality is it's, a, it's just getting wider and it's really quite easy to be able to follow. So when we get started we're gonna create the center ring just like you see and then everything else is then gonna build on top of that and it's really not a big deal. So without further ado let's get started. So let's get started today we're going to start off with your Karen Chunky Cakes and we're gonna get started with the slip knot and let's begin and we're gonna chain four and we're gonna create the very start of the middle of your blanket. So we're going to chain four so one two, three, and four and then now what we're going to do is that we're going to go around the center of this. So what you have to do is, do is count back and you just have to go to the fourth chain from the hook which is the very starting one that you started right where I'm pinching right here where I'm moving and you are going to double crochet into this one. Okay and you're gonna double crochet then chain one and then come back into that same one again double crochet and, and then chain one and double crochet and chain one. So you, you want to get a goal. Here's your goal. So you're gonna need a, to get eight of these posts. So this is one, two, three, four. So I've just done chain one already. So this is the fifth post, chain one and this will be the sixth post, chain one. This will be the seventh post, chain one and the final one will be the eighth post and do not forget to chain one after it. So chain one and then just join it to the very beginning one. So there has to be a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just join it to the third chain up. Okay and go right there and that is the starting of your blanket. So let's uh, just get rid of this uh, straggler here at the back and then we're gonna begin to officially do round, uh, row, round number two and then we're gonna go on from that point. So let's trim this work. So now that your center ring is started what you can just do now is that you're gonna chain one and we're going to then in this first uh, space right here this is a chain one space we are going to single crochet and then we're gonna immediately then jump to the next chain one space and we're gonna place in seven double crochets. So let's just do that. So let's just count those out together. So one and two, three, this is four, five, six, and seven. So once you get your seven in you immediately just jump to the next chain one space and single crochet in and then go to the next chain one space and put in another seven. So let's do that again. So let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then immediately come to the next chain one space and single crochet in and then come to the next chain one space, seven double crochets. So one, two, three, this is four, five, six, and seven. Come to the next chain one space, single crochet in and then come to the next chain one space and seven double crochets. So one, 
two, three, this is four, five, six, and seven and then that takes you right back up to where you need to be and then you're just going to, this is the single crochet that you would started with so you chained one and then you single crochet into the first space if you remember that's where you're going to join it. So join it with a slip stitch and then that completes then round number two. So you can see it kind of looks like a daisy at this point and we're gonna move on to round number three. So let's begin round number three. So exactly where you are you're going to chain a total of four. So this counts as a double crochet plus uh, chain one. So one, two, three, and four. And into the same space that you just did, okay, the same space of where you've done the join, you're going to want to put it in a, a double crochet in there, okay, followed by chain three. So one, two, three, and then into the same space again you are going to put in a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. So let's review exactly what this looks like. So you had the chain four which counted as a double crochet plus chain one. Then you had a double crochet in, chain three which is the very corner and then double crochet, chain one and double crochet all in the same space. So now you're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five and you're gonna skip right over top of the other seven double crochets that are in there and go to the next chain, a single crochet there. So skip right over this shell here and you're going to do exactly what you just did over here. So let's uh, begin. So we're gonna do a double crochet to start, chain one and then double crochet again into the same single crochet and then chain three and then in the same one again to another double crochet, chain one, another double crochet. Okay, so you can see you're creating the corners. So continuing along, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five and skip right over all these fabulous stitches here and go right to the next single crochet and you're gonna put in a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain three, okay double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Okay, so now you're going to chain five to jump over. So one, two, three, four, and five. So jump over all of these stitches in, in this uh, shell. Go to the next single crochet, double crochet first, chain one, double crochet again, and then now chain three, one, two, three, double crochet again, chain one and double crochet again. Now that you got that done you can see you're almost all the way around. So chain five, so one, two, three, four, and five. Okay the first one is done right as you see it here. So all you're just gonna do then is just join it to the third stitch up to where you had started just like that. So this is what it looks like at this particular point. You can see it looks pretty fabulous and uh, we're gonna move on then to round number four. So as we move up what's gonna happen is that we are going to start up and we are going to slip stitch to the first chain uh, one space. So this is the chain one space, this is the chain three space and this is the chain one space. So it's right in the corners as you see it. Okay so chain one, chain three, and chain one. So you'll notice here, see these sprays? There's seven double crochets here and seven here. It's working in these chain one spaces. It's not working on the edge. So you end up with these nice rounded edges just like you see way up here. Do you see that? So that's what you're gonna end up with if you do that. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna make our way around. So this really um, blanket requires you to do two uh, rounds in order to get the look. So this is the first uh, set of, uh, to get it established and the next one then we're gonna play. You're going to also notice as we continue around, if you follow this color, you see the single crochet? It's going right up over top of an existing chain right back down two rows below. This is what's creating that look that you see in the photograph by it jumping over stitches and coming down. So you can see it's kind of coming over the existing chain that you see and then jumping right straight down to really pull it back into position. So let's move on to round number four.
So let's begin round number four. So in round number four as I kind of mentioned to see this chain that's uh, holding out right now as we go around in this round we're going to actually play down back in two rows below. So we're gonna actually pinch here right up over top to pull it in. That's what's creating that look on that blanket that looks really amazing. So let's uh, begin we're going to slip stitch to the first chain one space. So we're in the first double crochet. We're gonna immediately just go to the first uh, uh, chain one space and just slip stitch and then chain three which counts as a double crochet. And I want you to double crochet uh, six more times so that gives you a total of seven. So seven is your magic number. So this I'm gonna say this is now three double crochets that includes that chain three space. So three, four, five, six, and seven. So once you get that seven done, okay, that you see you are going to then put in um, uh, one single crochet in the chain three space. So it's just to stabilize it. So right in there it was the next space and now you're immediately gonna jump to the next chain one space here on the other side of the corner. So there will be seven double crochets there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So here's the fun part. So see how it's coming and bridging over top? You want the middle one of this group of seven. So you got seven. So you can see there's the edge, the edge, the edge, leaving one. Okay, so it's actually the fourth one over. So one, two, three, four. And you're going to single crochet into this one down here and this string is gonna go up over top and trap this other chain into position for a single crochet. So you see it drop down holding this chain right in between. So now what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna continue along to the next corner. So we're immediately going to do seven double crochets into the next chain one space. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, that was one side of the corner. You can see here's the other side. So in the chain three, uh, three space you're going to single crochet and then coming into the next chain one space you're gonna put seven in there again. So one, two, three, four, this is five, six, and seven just like that. So now you're gonna trap this chain down on top of this so it's the seventh one or it's the fourth one over. So one, two, three, four. It's the middle one of the group of seven. Just single crochet into that one trapping this chain into position as you go up over top. And then you are going to then single crochet and continue along. So then just how you continue again seven double crochets here single crochet into the chain three space, seven into this chain one space and then single crochet into the middle one here trapping this chain in position. Please go all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round. So when you come all the way back around don't forget to put that single crochet in there. It's the middle of the section here. Put it in and then you're just going to just slip stitch to the top of the first chain three to complete round number four. So this is what it looks like at this point and what we're going to do then is move on to round number five. So let's begin round number five. So our first problem that we have is that we're starting in the wrong section. So we have to slip stitch across this whole first shell first. You're already in the first one because you slip stitched it here. So we're going to slip stitch it says into the next uh, over the next six. So let's count those out. So one and two and three four, five, and six just like you see there. And then what we need to do then is that we need to slip stitch one more time. It's in the single crochet right here. So we're now in the very corner of your blanket. So now we're gonna begin again and it's just like we did down here. See these blue ones here? right where I'm pointing with my thumb. We're gonna recreate that again but the difference is this time is that the 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 afghan is wider. So we have to compensate for that space in order to make room for more of these shells that will go in later. So we're gonna start off first and we're going to chain three counts as a double crochet and then we're gonna add one more chain so you're actually chaining four 
to begin and then you're gonna single crochet into, sorry, you're gonna double crochet into the same one. So you chain four and double crochet into the same one and then chain three and then double crochet again into the same one, chain one and double crochet into the same one. So you created what you did down here but up here. So now what we're going to do then is that we are gonna do a total chain of five. So one, two, three, four and five and now you're going to skip to this chain one or this single crochet over here. I don't know why I keep calling out chain one but it's single crochet and you were going to single crochet into that one and then chain one and then sing, uh, double crochet again into that one. So you're gonna double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then you're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four and five and then come up over here. So you're gonna skip all of these shells over here and you're gonna go into this single crochet right here. So let's begin again. So you're gonna do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet again and this time we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three, it's the very corner and then double crochet back in, chain one and double crochet again. So do you see how that's working away? It's crossed just like that. So let's turn our, our project as we go. So we're gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four and five and come to the next single crochet over here and just stretch over and just do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then you're done. Chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and then just skip all of these out right here and go into the single crochet and you're creating another corner. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to do that same concept going all the way around. So it was a double crochet if you remember. Chain one, double crochet, then chain three and double crochet, chain one and double crochet. So do that concept all the way around. I'll see at the end of this round. So chain five and then double crochet in here, chain one, double crochet, then chain five and do the corner just like you just seen here and then meet me back here in just a moment. So you're coming back around. This is where we started right in the corner. Remember we slip stitched all over this section here and so we're gonna chain five here and then just slip stitch it then to the third chain up of the first chain four that you started with. So that's how it looks like going all the way around. So now what we're gonna do is that you see all these chain one spaces that you see they're gonna be all new shells here. So this means that there's gonna be a new shell now put here. So this is being moved over here and then these ones chain one on each side will then have that. So now we're gonna expand now from having two shells in a side to having three because this now makes room for the third one. Let's move along to round number six. So let's move along to round number six. We're going to slip stitch to the first chain one space. So just slip it first and then you're gonna begin and you're gonna chain three. So one, two, three counts as a double crochet and you're gonna put uh, six more double crochets into that same chain one space. Let's count those out. So this first one is a chain three plus this one. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once you get that done the next chain three space is going to be a single crochet. So you've already know how to do this. You've already done this before. So now the next chain one space is gonna have seven. So you're gonna go one and two and three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is where you need to pay attention. See this over here? It's way too far. You can't just immediately start another shell here. So do you see this space right here? This uh, seven here? You were going to single crochet into the fourth one. It's the middle one of the group of seven which is right here and you're gonna single crochet into that but you're gonna lay down this other chain on top of it and just trap it underneath. That's what creates that look. Now you're ready to put in seven more double crochets into this split here, this chain one space. So let's do that again. So seven, so one, two, three, four, five, 
six and seven and again the next one is way too far away so you have to go to the to middle one of this group of seven down here and just go into it put that other chain leave it on top single crochet over top of it and now you can just go to this first chain one space right here. So you got chain one space, chain three, chain one. So just do your seven into the first chain one space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Come to the chain three space, single crochet and then just do another seven in the next chain one space. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I wanna make sure I'm not counting too quickly. Six and seven. Okay and it's just like you had before. The next one is way too far over here. So you need that single crochet halfway through the other one that's down here. It's the fourth one over. Single crochet. Leave that other chain on top of it so you can get it stuck underneath and then immediately go into this one. So then you do your seven. You do your single crochet here and then you do your seven. Single crochet into the corner. Seven and then single crochet into there. So please do that same concept going all the way around for round number six. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I've single crocheted my last one in. So it's holding it down and so now I'm just gonna slip stitch to the first chain three that you'd started with. So the only difference now between all the other rounds and what you see. So you got two rounds to do. You have the grounding one to, uh, with that these shells sit into. So you saw that it went from two shells and then we had a round in between so that we could create it so that there will be three shells. So the one, two and three. So the next time you do it there will be four shells and then five and six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you uh, through two more rounds. It's just what you already know but I just wanna make sure you get it. So let's uh, begin. So we're just going to slip stitch ourselves across the top of all of the first shell work that you're working on. Okay so remember it was six single crochet if you wanna be technical about it. Or sorry six double crochets that you're gonna skip over and then the next one is a single crochet you're gonna also slip stitch into there and then you're gonna begin your corner. So chain up three and then add another one. So this is four so chain four add another one. Okay so then you have double crochet in Okay, so the chain four counts as a double crochet plus chain one and then chain three and then coming into the same one double crochet, chain one, double crochet and now all you're just gonna do is that you're going to skip over and you're going to uh, chain five. So one, two, three, four and five and then go to the next single crochet. So just skip right over top of these seven here and you're going to put in a double crochet chain one and double crochet in. So you see that this chain one will get trapped in position next time around underneath the stitch work like you had done before. So chain five, so one, two, three, four, five and skip over the next group of seven and then just go to the next single crochet and double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then chain five again. So one, two, three, four, five and then you're gonna go right to the corner one. Single crochet. So you're gonna double crochet into that one. Chain one, double crochet again. You're gonna turn the corner so it's gonna be a chain three. And then double crochet in. Chain one and double crochet again. Okay so all you're just doing is creating the groundwork. So the shell work will be there will be one here, 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 and here. That gives you your four because you see three now. There will be four next time you go around. So please do the same concept going all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round and we'll carry on it just to make sure that you got started for the next rounds. So I'm coming up all the way to where I had started. I gotta chain my five to get there and then we just join it to the top of the first, uh, the third chain up of the chain four. So now you just have to get started again and again this time now there's gonna be four shells. There will be one here in this chain one, this one here, chain one, here and here. So let's get started. We're just going to slip stitch to the first chain one space and then we continue our seven. So one, two, three, that's six, uh, three double, or chain three counts as a double crochet and there will be six double crochets in there. 
with it. So it gives you a total of your seven. So just keep seven as your magic number in your mind. So five and sevens I guess for this uh, particular blanket. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then into the chain three space, single crochet, seven into the next chain one space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And remember what you have to do. So this chain five space or chain five here, you're gonna trap it to the third or to the fourth one up. It's the middle one of the group is seven. So single crochet into that one and then just trap that chain in position. Single crochet right over top of it and then just reach over to the next chain one space and put in another seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay, just reach on over so you can see it. It's the middle one of the group of uh, seven. Single crochet in and then just go to the next chain one space. It's seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay, just reach on over. It's the middle one of the group of seven. And then you do your final one. So you can see you got three shells in here so far. You're doing your fourth as I promised. So there'll be seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then single crochet into the chain three space. And then just turn your work and continue the same thing going around, okay? So you just got a mat matter filling it in. So when you get all the way back around, you're gonna go back to the last round you just did and you're going to start off in the corner. You're gonna create your corners and then you're just gonna chain your fives over and then double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then chain five. And so the next time you do this round, uh, what you're doing right now, there will be five um, um, shells in a row and not just four. So it goes from one to two to three, four, five, and etc. So this is how you do this from the middle uh, Afghan. It's a, a free pattern by uh, Yarn Inspirations. It is the amazing uh, Karen Chunky Car uh, Cakes yarn. It is actually pretty neat and I did a tutorial sample just to make sure I understood the pattern as you see it and once you get uh, more and more around the colors will change quicker and then you'll have the look exactly what you see in the, in the original photo that we have. So until next time have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.